Hello everyone! Have you brushed your teeth and combed your hair? Are you in your pajamas ready for bed? Are the curtains drawn and blankets stuck tight? Are you ready to sleep and say good night? But before you go into your dream ride, here's a story for you tonight. Tonight, I have got you a very sweet little story. It's about this little girl named Puchku. Puchku loves to read. Yes, she does just like me. And she loves to read about all the things she can read. And do you know where she gets her books from? She gets them from a library. Do you know what is a library? A library is a place where you have lots of books about everything in this world and this universe. That's right. About everything, absolutely everything. Cars, aeroplanes, uh, bicycles, washing machine, about the planets, about our mother earth, about dinosaurs, about the other animals in the jungle, about the creepy crawlies you find on the, uh, on the earth and under the earth. That's right. About everything, absolutely everything. And do you know who takes care of the library? A librarian. She takes care of the library and she is very, very strict about one rule. You're not supposed to make any sound in the library. You're supposed to be shh, quiet. You can't talk much in the library. That's right. So, here goes our story. A book for Puchko. It's written by Dipanjana Pal. Puchko, eat your food, calls Mama. Puchko, have a bath. Puchko, go to class. Puchko, get on the bus. Puchko, do your homework. Where is Puchku? Hmm. Puchku is busy. She has a book to read. Puchku reads all the time. At home, in school, in the park, in bed. Page after page. Book after book. One by one. She has read them all. Wow! Now Puchku has two friends, Boltu and Dodla. Why are you always reading, Puchku? asks Boltu. Come watch a cartoon instead, says Dodla. Hmm, what do you like to do? Watch a cartoon or read a book? I can take a guess. <laughs> Books are so much more fun, says Puchku. Look, you see a circle and this straight line. Put it in, pull them out and it becomes a letter. Wow! Line up the letters and you have a word. Word can be wise, words can be funny, words can be sad, words can be sunny. When you put words together, they make sentences and sentences become stories. Read it and whoosh, you are in another world, said Puchku. Today, Puchku is in a fix. Oh dear, what must have happened? She has run out of books to read. Oh no! All the books she could reach in the library, she's read from chapter 1 to the end. Oh no! Did 
is she going to do now? What will I do? No more books to read. <laughs> Wails Puchko. <gasps> Wait! What's that over there? Puchko looks up and sees not one, not two, but three shelves full of books. More books! Puchku whispers in delight. There is still one problem though. She is too short and the bookshelf is too tall. Oh dear me. Poor Puchku. What do you think she will do? Hmm. Yeah, sure she can take a ladder. How safe will that be for a little girl? Let's see if she can think of that. How can Puchko get up there? Maybe she can use a washing line or mask sari to climb. Oh dear me. A washing line and mask sari to climb? Oh no, I don't think it's a good idea. Do you? How about the chairs and tables in the room? Put them one on top of the other and if you don't balance it very well, you can have a terrible, terrible fall. Oh no, I don't think that is very safe for a little girl. It would be really helpful, thinks Puchku, to have a giraffe at hand, even a monkey or both. Oh dear me, that sounds so funny, bringing a giraffe or a monkey or both to the library? Oh no, that's definitely not a good idea. Let's see what Puchku thinks of now. Puchku has a plan. She calls Boltu and Dodla for help. Now I think that's good. As quiet as they can, they climb on top of each other. Hmm, they still didn't take the ladder. They're climbing on top of each other. Let's see how successful they are. Boltu, you are heavy, Dodla complains. Told you not to eat that last rasgulla. It's not me, Boltu hisses. It's Puchku. Then it all goes wrong. Oh dear me. They fell down and oh my god, poor Puchku is left hanging on the shelf. Ah! cried Puchku. Oh dear me. What is going on here? It is a very tall librarian. She comes to inquire what is what is all that noise about. You're not supposed to make any sound in the library, remember? She puts Puchku down. Boltu and Dodla run away. They get very scared. They thought they're going to get scolded now. Let's see if Puchku gets scolded. Puchku looks up sadly at the books she almost had in her hands. Can I help? asked the very tall librarian. I was trying to climb the bookshelf. I have run out of books to read, says Puchku sadly. Why did you say so? says the very tall librarian. As long as I am around, you do not have to climb. May I pick you up? asked the very tall librarian. Puchku nods. Ah, finally, Puchku can reach the shelves with the help of the very tall librarian. And Puchku is so happy. I will take this and this and this one too, says Puchku happily. Thank you. Take this one too, says the very tall librarian.
When I was small, I loved this book. You were small once? Puchku asks. Oh yes, even smaller than you, says the very tall librarian. But then I grew and so will you. Until then, all you need to do is ask for a book and I will be here to give it to you. But is Puchku listening? No, she is not. She is inside her book through a circle and a line and a letter and another. Then a word and another, a sentence and another. And now a story because Puchku has a new book. Wow! Puchku is busy reading and she's practicing really well. She's practicing to read every day which is a very wonderful thing. Do you know something? Practice makes you perfect. That's right. When you were a little baby, you didn't know how to walk but you learned. You didn't know how to talk but you learned. You practice little by little every day, didn't you? Same thing goes for everything that you do, for your homework, for your uh, exercise, for your cycling. And do you know something? It also stands true for being kind. If you practice being kind, little by little every day, you become perfect. That's right. Now, to my very lovely, kind and practicing little children, a very good night. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't get into any pillow fights.